morning. Ah, uh, gonna be a warm one today. They're talking lower 90s. Uh, hopefully, this camera doesn't screw up that much. The reason why I say this camera is. Remember, I was telling you about button not working on the GoPro? I decided to uh, go buy one, buy another GoPro set Saturday. I've been playing around with it all weekend. I was doing that at my son, daughter's softball game, using this one, playing around. Look at that. So now I've got two different cameras so I can try to give you two different views at the same time. God forbid that's going to make the editing fun. But today we got, I would say, basically like two loads. This first load here is just two stops. And then we head down to the warehouse and load up. Uh, excuse me, no. Yeah, we're gonna head to the warehouse and load up. So let's uh, get going here. This is comical, you can't see right now. Uh, see how this one's not on? Well, I was telling this one off and this one both went off. So I put my finger over the mic on the top of the camera. I want this one turn on, both turn on. Yeah, it's been fun trying to deal with two. Uh, let me know what you thought about this delivery with both cameras. Uh, I know it's gonna cost, it's gonna be a lot more time for me editing and stuff like that. Uh, so videos could be slower coming out, especially now that for the next six, I think six or eight, six weeks, six or eight weeks. My daughter's got travel softball on Saturdays and Sundays. Matter of fact. She's got a tournament that starts this Friday. And I'm hoping they can get it in because right up, up here in Maine, this week here, they're calling for a heat wave. Like today's supposed to be like, they call for like 90, 91, 92 degrees, which isn't that bad. I mean, yeah, it's warm, but it's not that bad. But Wednesday and Thursday, they're talking upper 90s. And some locations could hit 100 degrees. And then Friday, they're talking thunderstorms. So with Friday being a tournament, I don't know what's going to happen as far as their softball goes. But, um, yeah, we are 40 miles to the next one. So, uh, yeah, again, leave a comment below what you thought about this first delivery, how I did two views. I'm trying to improve the entertainment for you, for everyone. So please let me know what you think. 
and what I can do better. I'm always open to comments and suggestions. Let's get going here down to the uh, next delivery. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you could get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of times just like a test. If only I could go back in time, I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright. Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like. And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime. Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life. A few friends with intent can help you feel alive. Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time. Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life. They'll try to kick you while you're down. They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine Alright Let's kick these three off three one and a half ton pallets those six foot tall ones like the four four at the first delivery you just seen i got three more to kick off here i got four pallets on i'll explain what's going on at the uh warehouse once we kick this off Here. I'm gonna try to explain something what's gonna happen on this load uh, I'm leaving with 10 but I'm delivering 11 what's going on here is uh, this first delivery we're doing they tried a different pellet last year they didn't like it so they have an extra pallet this is at the first delivery so what's gonna happen is is I gotta deliver three to them and we're gonna take one pallet that they got left over with us then I've got uh, one delivery I got two deliveries to do and then that pallet we're taking from the first delivery we're delivering at our fourth delivery so yeah it's gonna be a fun one <laughs> and there is a single pallet right over here on the truck you saw that is the very last delivery on this. And that pallet is going to the customer that I only had two for the two pallets last from last week. 
where I only had two down here and they ordered three. So we're gonna go back there and park in the middle of the road. Joy, yay. Uh, Cause I can't park in their driveway, especially like days like today. Could be the 90 degrees. They just had their driveway paved, so it's still soft. I, I park on it, I'm gonna leave marks, I'm gonna destroy it. I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna go do that. And let me get this thrown on and I'll see you afterwards. Now I wanna make, make sure I'm clear on this. The heat up here in Maine versus the heat like Phoenix, two different. Phoenix is, Phoenix, wow. Heat's affecting me already and it's only what? Quarter to 10 and it says it's 80 out, yeah. Wow, well we are under a heat advisory. Excessive heat watch, excuse me. Anyways, uh, up here we have a lot of humidity in the air with the, with the heat and stuff like that. Stop that. See, I've only been here for 15, maybe 20 minutes. That's how much moisture the uh, AC system on this has rung out. I got a, I did bring my uh, temperature thermometer for what I use on my grill to cook my meat. I had it out a couple years ago. Oh, here it is right here. It says it's 65 degrees in the cab. 66, sorry. Uh, so maybe I brought it with me today. I'm probably not gonna need it. It might get low 90s today. Not that bad. But like tomorrow, they're talking, uh, I'm looking at it right now. 95, 97 heat feel, will feel like 105, 103, 103, 105, so. Don't know, but let's uh, get going. I'm only what? Uh, six miles to my first delivery, this one. All right, this one is an inside. I'm gonna take the pallet jack down pull out that pallet of Lacrete that he doesn't want anymore. We're exchanging with him. And then we'll uh, get his stuff down to him. that I receive and apply it to helping families. That cut, that delivery you just seen, the gentleman's 84 years old, retired, a vet, and he also has cancer. I'd like to apply monetization and take care of that for him. 
it's one less thing they've got to worry about of staying about trying to stay warm. And what he said to me was, is they're no longer, they're only monitoring his cancer now. I've never had it. I've never, I know a few people that got it, had cancer. They beat it. But does monitoring it mean they're not treating it anymore? Could someone in the comments let me know? I, I don't know anything about that stuff. So, yeah, if you could, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, and get this channel out there. Let people know that that heat with fuel, fellow fuels and stuff like that, there is a channel out there willing to help out. This one should be a quick four pallet outside delivery. He's got a control box in his lawn for his irrigation. Unfortunately, they just called. They, I just got a voicemail from the office saying that they called, saying they're under quarantine. So, won't see them, but we'll definitely do the best we can for them. All right, we are six and a half miles away from the delivery I started last week. So, let's go complete it. I'm gonna to try to get this one with just the donkey. I think I might be able to slide in. It's gonna be close, but we'll see what I can do.
that's different. The reason why I just said that's different is I accidentally hit the record button and it turned on and started recording immediately. I don't think this other one did that. Well, at least I don't think it did. Press this button. Nope, didn't do it. Ah, that's strange. Different. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna set this out and see what we got for temperature. Right now, I think it says 90 degrees outside. If it is, that'd be first first day of a 90 degrees. We'll find out. But uh, I got three pallets to throw on here for the next delivery, and that's it for the day. So let's uh, let's go get this one taken care of. Well. See it or not? 90.7. And I'm in the shade. So I'm gonna set this right here. Out of the sun. And we go from there. Uh three of these. One, two. Actually what I might do is I'll grab the three out there. I gotta do two wooden sons. And I got a phone call. I gotta, I gotta throw two of these on for a commercial customer. So it's actually gonna be five. I gotta uh, throw these ones on real quick. And then uh, we'll get going here. See what it shows. 90.1, uh, 90.3. And that today is gonna be the is the coolest of the three days. It's only what one o'clock in the afternoon, 90 degrees. Tomorrow morning it's gonna be tomorrow's next two days is gonna be pretty oppressive for up here. Other places it's not gonna be that bad. I'm gonna get this secured. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, show you what I'm doing, what my uh, AC is putting out. Oh, yeah. 49 degrees. I'll take that. Ah, come on. Oh, another nice thing about what I just figured out with this camera is if I press the button, it shuts off. Save, save a lot of the battery. So, 
let's get over to uh, the, uh, yeah, 24 miles to the delivery. Well, you didn't see any of that one. The customer actually helped me. He put the, I set the pallets inside the, uh, pallet jack inside the garage and I started setting pallets in there. Well, when I went back with the second pallet, the customer took the pallet jack and helped me out, which was great. You didn't see none of it because this camera was doing the same exact thing as this camera. I press record and then it just stopped recording. And I say those two words, that's what happens. All right, I gotta make a phone call. I'll get back with you. We're headed back to the store now. Let's have a little fun. Let's see what it is. the temperature is in my 550 when I get there. That's gonna be brutal. It's gonna be nasty. Uh, let's have a little fun with that, all right? I'll see you at the shop. Well, I opened up the door. It's dropping, but... It was like 123 or something like that. All right, I'm gonna start my AC, put it on max AC. Let's see what this does. Don't mind me, I was checking out some wiring in the back. Because, uh, as you know, with the uh, sander that I got for the truck. Down. I, uh, the sander I got with the truck, I want for the truck this winter. Uh, you can plug it into the back of the truck and it actually will charge the battery. Keep the battery charged on the uh, sander. And there's a few uh, lights I can hook up in there as well. So I gotta look at that. I gotta figure out why I have no power back there at all for the on the trailer plug on this truck. So uh, it's gonna be another project to do on some weekend. Well, let's see how my AC is doing. I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Uh, we can see it or not. But it's still 90, 90 degrees out. 23 coming out of the bed. I'd say, yeah, the AC's working in this. I was down to 42.6. Uh, 40, what's ready between 46 and 42 degrees? Is that the 46? 47, and now it's going back down, so. Yeah, it's fluctuating when the pump kicks on and off. But yeah, that's gonna be a good one. Oh, yeah, 44, 43. Keep going. 42.6. That's what it is. 42.6 is where it kicks out. Yeah, well, I made it home. Yeah, it's uh, still quite warm out. It's going to be hotter tomorrow, so it's going to be a miserable one. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, AC ran great. All, ran perfectly all the way back home. So please like, share, subscribe, comment. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.